life of a chicken farmer. That's what I want to be. We're inside. So please excuse the terrible lighting. All right, so I've got a guinea that I think has gout. Um, she's got some swollen feet. Um, I haven't seen any black spots, which is why I don't think it's bumblefoot. So she gets some spa treatment today. <clears throat> And she's usually pretty good about it, but we've got some Epsom salt for her feet, um, some kombucha enriched food, and some tart cherry kombucha water here. When I have done this in the past, she has been doing, she does a pretty good job. We are trying this out in a different location, so that might be an issue. And she's not feeling as sick as she was. Um, so she might be a little bit more feisty and less willing to sit in the bath. So we'll just have to see how this goes. see her. Oh, the light is probably really bad, but these feet are just bad. They have to hurt. It's bleeding. There you go, girl. Once she's in, she knows what the deal is. All right, so she's out of her bath. She got herself out. It looks like she ate a lot of food. She probably didn't drink very much. That's fine. The next thing um, that somebody recommended was to treat her feet with some uh, organic turp. So I think I'm gonna put her up on the table or I'm gonna attempt to put her up on the table and from there, we're going to use a dropper and maybe get some on those feet and maybe that'll help some. I found the best way to move her cover her face and then we can This is the side that scares me the most. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know what to do. Um, this is... I was told that this is possibly gout, but it also could be like a bacterial or something else. So we're gonna dab that turpentine on. Another thing that I'm gonna do is add some turmeric, turmeric, whatever, powder into her food here. Because that is supposed to also be an anti, an anti-inflammatory. And then because she is wet, we're going to put her back in the kennel. Um, so I'm going to reassemble the kennel and then I have to sweep my floor. Okay. You're okay. 
okay. There you go. Okay, we got her back in the kennel down there. is terrible all right well it's been a couple hours since we uh, did our treatment on Miss Limpy here and I think she's dry enough and everything to be let back out Are you ready to come out give her a second bath today hopefully that'll help out um, but now we're gonna get dog treats out and start playing with the Herald dog and I'm probably gonna go pick a cigar so 